Hi, my name's Father James Hudgens, and I'm the pastor of St. Jude Church in Fredericksburg. Question for you this week. Do you know the meaning of the word love? That's the most important word in the whole world to understand. Everyone thinks they know what love is, but people have a very hard time defining it. They think that love is an emotional state or a feeling or a flutter of your heart. Truth is, love is not something that you feel. Love is something that you do. Love is a decision to do what's best for somebody else, regardless of what it might cost you. That's why the greatest symbol for love in the whole world is not a valentine, it's a crucifix. St. Paul tells us all about this in the second reading this week. Two things St. Paul does for us. Number one, he tells us what the word love means. And number two, he gives us a fantastic examination of conscience. St. Paul says, love is patient. Does that describe you? St. Gregory the Great wants to find patience as the endurance of a hardship with gentleness. St. Paul says, love is kind. Does that describe you? St. Thomas Aquinas once said, kindness means returning a good for an evil. St. Paul says, love does not brood over injury. Actual Greek word Paul uses there means to keep records like a bookkeeper, logging a little mental library of every last hurt. Love never does that. Ego does that. Love moves on. So here's your challenge for this week. Take this whole second reading and ask yourself how well it describes you. Everywhere you see the word love, put your own name in and see how much sense it makes. They say nobody in history has ever fallen in love. That's because love is not an emotional pit you can fall into. Love is a sacrificial mountain that you must climb. God gives us the strength. St. Paul shows us the way. And may God, who's begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Rise to the challenge. Subscribe to Two Minutes to Virtue.